Hi, it's Pam from Hope 24-7, and today I'm writing about why do we wait? Instructions, lessons I really want to learn and master before I die. The post was inspired by some Facebook posts I saw in the morning. Posts about people I know that are fighting cancer and are fighting for their life some who are very young. Reading the post, I found myself getting emotional. It took me back about 25 years ago to the time when my mom was fighting for her life. It reminded me of something that I had prayed for the day that my sister and I went out of the room for a while, and when we came back, my mom had passed. And after being around my mom um, and, you know, grieving on, on her hospital bed with her, I went over and slumped kind of against the wall and under the window. And I hadn't remembered this window being opened in the morning, but now the window in her room was open. And I glanced back and forth between her bed where her body was lifeless and um, to the window where the wind was kind of whistling through the curtains and moving the curtains. And I, I kept looking at the lifeless body that no longer resembled her, right? And then to the movement in the curtains and it just hit me, death was the absence of the soul. It was the first time I really experienced that the absence of the life force in a human body. And for me, spiritually, it was like a light just came on and I knew the soul and the spirit at a different level than I'd ever known it, hanging out in the pew as a Catholic girl or in the churches I'd been in since then. And for me, it was one of those moments when I just knew what I knew, what I knew at a different level. I remember praying at my mom's funeral, and I was three months pregnant with a child that I didn't know at that point would be her namesake. Six months later, Rosie was born. But I remember praying at my mom's funeral that, um, that, awareness that I'd had through losing her, the, the understanding of how precious and fleeting life is, that I would never leave that line, that, I would, that I'd walk through life just absolutely understanding that every single moment is precious and we are one breath away from eternity, from the spirit world. Well, you know, 25 years later, I haven't lived every moment um, there. I just haven't, you know, I've taken things for granted. But as I looked at those Facebook posts this morning, that's what it reminded me of, my prayer. And so then I made a list of all the things that I've been hoping that instructions and lessons I would master before I die, before I become all spirit. So I'll share a few with them. You, laugh loudly daily, cry even louder whenever your heart wants to. I want to hold on to God's hand at all times and grip especially tight when I want to punch someone. I want to say thank you before I roll out of bed because it gets harder later in the day when you're around mere mortals. I want to smell the roses and the daisies so I know the difference. I want to close my eyes if I must, but I want to work very hard to keep my heart open no matter what it takes. I don't want to be impressed by what people have, but rather by who God is and what love makes possible. I want to forget about proving myself. I know I'm guilty as charged and still I'm forgiven. I don't want to allow myself to think too highly of myself or to get confused that I might be God. I want to share and share some more and share again. And then when I get to something that I can't possibly share, I want to make sure I give it away. I want to remember that as much as I learn, I, I don't know what I don't know. 
I want to allow nothing to limit the freedom God has already given me and I have in Christ Jesus. And I want to protect and fight for the freedoms of those who can't protect or fight for their own. I want to greet every person as if it's their last day because someday, like my mom, it will be. I want to give up the role of judge because no one looks good in those robes. I don't want to ever forget or think that God makes junks or mistakes. I want to tell people how much I love them, and then I want my actions and deeds to tell them again and again. I want to forget about rejected and being rejected and throw caution to the wind. When reconciliation isn't possible, I want to let go and let God handle the details. I want to forgive myself, and I want to forgive others, and I want to remember that um, I've been forgiven. I want to embrace the imperfection of laws of others so they embrace mine. I want to forget how much I have and what I've achieved because none of it goes with me to the spiritual realm. I want to seek to understand and seek compassion, and I want to believe I will find it. I want to pursue the lover of my soul, even when people get sick and people that I've prayed will be healed don't. I want to remember this physical body doesn't last forever, but everything I do to my soul and heart is eternal. I want to live as if my ultimate goal is to become the best friend of God. Yes, why do I wait? Lessons I really want to master, instructions I really want to get right before I die. This is Pam at Hope 24-7. Leave me a comment, reply, I will make sure and reply to you. Have a great day.